guys welcome back to my channel so I know it's been forever and a half since I've done a video uh, but here I am back again and I promise that I'll try to be more consistent with the videos this year uh, that's my goal to start getting more videos on YouTube and to start doing a lot more fun things like that so today's video and my return video um, is going to be a tutorial slash review on some clip and bangs that I've been using for quite some time now. And these are the Betty Bangs Deluxe from Classy Rebel. And if you haven't heard of Classy Rebel, Classy Rebel is a brand that makes clip and bangs. Um, and they make wigs, and now they're actually making clip and ponytail extensions. So for those of us that don't have thick hair or long hair, and want to have some Barbie ponytail hair going on, then you guys can get those and that would look great. But anyways, um, so what I have today is the Betty Bing Deluxe and this is what they look like. So you can see the iconic U shape that the Betty Bangs have and then they have extra widths of hair so that when you clip them in, um, they blend into your natural hair and they don't look weird or awkward when you put them on. Um, and these are actually, um, <laughs> as you can see, these are a little pre-styled. Um, I tend to curl the ends of the extra hair just because my hair is shorter. And when I blend it out, I don't have straight hair. So um, it'd look kind of funny if I just leave it straight. And this is not what they look like when you get them in the mail. When you get them, they're completely flat. So they would come like this. And then so they're completely flat and then you can just style them however you desire to do it or however you do your Betty Bangs. So I have them curled and then they're not completely, um, what's it called, styled right now because I did wash them. I've been using them for a couple of months now and I hadn't washed them yet so they were accumulating like hairspray at the top and that doesn't look cute. So I washed them last night and they're freshly washed and I just gave it a run through with the straightener right now. Oh, here we go. So you guys can take a look at that. So they're pretty, it's pretty long. So yeah, and then, um, so then that way I can show you guys. Um, how to clip them in, how to how I style them. Uh, to clip them in, actually, they come with two clips right here at the back. And they're facing each other. So when you clip it in, you clip it in up and then a little bit back down. And the hair will get stuck right here in the middle. And then you just close them. And it'll keep the hair there. So that's really cool. And this is in the color dark brown. My hair is freshly dyed as well, so I know that um, it'll completely blend in. It had still been blending in pretty well. Nobody could tell that they're clip-in bangs. Um, but there's plenty of colors. I know Jezzy has, like, dark brown, black, uh, virgin hair, natural brown. Natural. I can't even speak. Natural brown, blonde. And then, so like the Platinum Blonde, you can custom dye it for those ladies that have like super cool colored hair, like blue or green or bright red and that kind of fun stuff. So, so yeah, so then let's get started. Let me show you guys how I put it in. So right now I have my hair curled. Um, I did a wet set last night and it's curled, but I'm still going to put these in. So, well, what I normally use... Um, to get it together is I use some bobby pins, here you go, some bobby pins, a little bit of my suavecita pomade just to tame the flyaways or some frizz that sometimes happens with the straightener, a rat tail comb, some hairspray, and of course a straightener. Um, I have this little straightener specific for bangs because I did used to have um, my own Betty Bangs cut, so I'm very familiar with how to style them and stuff like that. So, let's see. Okay, so let's get started. So my hair is, I always part my hair to one side, um, 
but for the Betty Bangs, I tend to part them in the middle. You can also part them at, like this to one side and have them like hold on to more hair, but I sort of like it more in the middle. That way I have even hair on both sides. So we're gonna actually make a part in the middle, like so. And then I just make a little part. And let's see. So I just kind of have like funky little bangs in the front and separate the back, push it back. And then I just have these two little strands of hair right here. So then I take some bobby pins and I take just two. And I put one on each side, like so, just to keep the hair back. And I push it all the way so that it gets tucked under the little hair that's already like pushed back here. That way you can't see it. Then I take the other one and do the same thing. Okay. And my apologies if I like look cross-eyed or if I look like I'm looking at my hair or my face because I am. I totally forgot to bring a mirror in here. Uh, before I started filming. So now I have to look at the screen to be able to look at what I'm doing. So apologies for that. I promise I get better at this. I just, I'm probably still nervous and scared, but you know, whatever. And then people are only here on my phone's vibrating. Anyways, I'm going off on a tangent. Okay, so now that we have the two sections of hair clipped away, so now you have the rest of your hair kind of flowing there. And now we're going to attach um, the Betty Bangs. So what I like to do is I open, actually, I open the first one. So this would be the bottom if you're holding the bangs down. I open the bottom first and leave the, the top one oh, uh, closed. So I'll do the first one. Uh, the bottom one first and I'll just pop it in and right away you feel the tug on your hair so you'll know when it has hair like um, already in there and then I open it I open the top one and I push it slightly down and push down and you'll hear the click and they'll both closed and now they're securely in um, they're securely attached to my hair so now, I just brush kind of through the rest, or kind of comb through the rest just to kind of get it flowing naturally, okay? And it does add some volume to your crown, so you'll see that. And you can always like pin this back and have your hair here, or sometimes what I like to do is like half a, half a beehive and then half a have my bangs clipped in that always works for me so but you can always do it like this as well so this is what they look like right now so as you can see very very u-shaped um and you can always adjust how high or how low you want them if you want them a little higher um i know some girls like them a little higher up here i personally like it um slightly above my eyebrow and then I curl it to give it that more U-shaped. So now that they're clipped in and we've got the hair kind of like, did you guys see that? Oh my God. I try to comb my hair with the part, with the rat tail part. Oh gosh. Anyways, so then not that we've got that going on. Okay. So now we're going to take our straightener and we're going to kind of slightly curl the bangs See, like grabbed hair and brought it to my face. Um, so we're gonna slightly curl our bangs. Let's see. Ooh. Okay. And it won't be too much, just to give it a little curl and tuck the ends away. And see how that. Uh, rises them up a little bit so that's why I don't like to clip them in too high up just so that um, I have room to 
do it with the curling iron. Okay. And I know it's really hard to tell, or it's a little harder to see because my hair is dark, so um, sorry about that. And like any other bangs, um, because these are made, uh, or I try to say two things at the same time and that didn't work. <laughs> so one thing at a time, um, because these are made out of human hair, you are able to curl them, straighten them, add hairspray, wash them. Don't wash them too often because they will get a little, you know, used up. So just try to keep it that at the minimal but you can straighten them and curl them and add product to them and all that kind of good stuff, which is really cool. Um, I personally think that's awesome. I don't wear extensions or anything, but I know that uh, synthetic hair, you can't uh, like curl it or straighten it or anything like that. Okay, so then what I did at the beginning when I got these, I did trim a little bit of them. Uh, and I do it sometimes, not often, just sometimes because I, if you've had Betty Bangs, you know. You know how meticulous you are about them and how perfect they need to be and all that kind of stuff. So I do, I well, I did trim them a little bit, but it was slightly, slightly, slightly just to clean up the ends. What is going on? Oh. It's because I keep pulling hair from my side, so that is always not fun. And you can keep doing it until you get the desired um, exaggerated U shape, or if you like them a little bit more, you know, chill and natural like this. I mean, still have the U shape, but less, like, dramatic. And as you can see, I have the little my little hair speaking under it. Okay, but basically, you get the gist of it. Very easy to clip in, very easy to style, um, and all that kind of stuff. So, and the best part is, you can see the halo, so you know... If your bangs don't have a halo, you ain't doing it right. So, here we are. The little demo on how to uh, apply the Classy Rebel Clip and Bangs. And again, these are the Betty Bang Deluxe. And um, Classy Rebel has a ton of bangs. So they have, uh, I know they have uh, V bangs. And they have Cleopatra bangs. Those were so awesome. They're in inverted U. They look great. And they have um, side foot bangs, dashing bangs, and all that kind of good stuff. So, I totally recommend that you guys try them out. Especially if you guys have had Betty bangs and you guys know the commitment of having bangs and how you have to trim them and all that kind of stuff. So, these are definitely, definitely a good option if you're just tired of having bangs and you're trying to let your hair grow but you still like the bangs look on yourself and it's a good option for if you want to do vintage hairstyling um, but still have bangs incorporated without having to cut yours so that would be really cool uh, so yeah so this is it I just put a little bit of hairspray just to keep them tame and looks like I don't have any frizz right now which is good. Um, but you can always add some pomade or um, wax if you guys use that to kind of smooth out the little flyaways. So this is what they look like on the side. So yeah, guys. Well, I hope you guys like this little tutorial and review on the Classy Rebel Bangs. I will link down all of her social media and her website so that you guys can check them out and let me know if you guys try them out you guys can leave a comment or um tag 
me on your pictures. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, then I'll leave that down below as well. And you can tag me so I can check them out. Uh, well, thanks for sticking around, guys. I'm so glad to be back on YouTube. I, I hope I can make more videos. Um, and I'm going to strive to keep up with them and with YouTube this year. So hopefully I can make a ton more videos. And yeah, that was really repetitive. <laughs> I'm so sorry about that. But yeah, guys, well, hope you guys have a good rest of the day wherever you are. And see you guys on my next video. Bye, guys.